Welcome to Waddle Guides. In this guide, I'll quickly explain how you can remove a search result from Google. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in the Google search page. When you search for anything in Google, it automatically remembers that search and stores it in your search history. Depending on how much search history you want to remove, there are two ways to do this. By far the easiest and quickest way to do that is to click into the empty search bar on Google. On doing this, a list of your recent searches is shown. And if I move down that list, you'll see that a small delete option is shown to the right of them. If I move my mouse over that delete option until it's underlined, I can then simply click that and the search result is immediately deleted from your search history. Now, if you want to delete more of your search history, you can work your way through the old searches, deleting them one at a time. But depending on how much search history you have, that could take a long time. You can delete all of your old search history with just a few clicks by going into your Google account. You can quickly find your Google account by moving your mouse to the top right of this page. There are a number of icons shown here, but we're interested in the profile picture shown at the end. If I click on that, a new panel is opened that has an option to manage your Google account. Let's choose that. A new page is then shown that allows you to manage all aspects of your Google account. From the left-hand menu, however, we're interested in the section called Data and Privacy. If I choose that, another page opens. And if I move down that page a little, all of your history settings across all of your Google Apps are shown. I want to look at my full activity timeline. So I'll open that by clicking on the My Activity link shown in this section. This new page shows all your activity using your web browser. So it's not just searches on Google, it also shows all the websites you visited. You can choose to delete all of this history if you wish. However, I'm only interested in removing all of my search history. So to show only that, I'll click on the Filter by Date and Product option at the top of the page. A list of all the Google apps you use is then shown. And if I move down that list near the bottom, you'll see an option for search. I can choose this by clicking on the checkbox to the right of it. And to confirm that, I'll click on the large blue apply button. Only my Google search results are then shown. Returning to the top of the page, you'll see an option to delete results. If you're confident you want to proceed to delete all of your Google search history, then click once on this button. Google asks you to confirm that you want to delete all of your search history. Once you do this, it will be permanently deleted and can't be undone. To continue, click on the large blue delete button. Google will then confirm that the deletion has been completed. And if I close that box, you'll see no search history is shown. I hope you find this Woggle guide useful and learn something new. If you have, please like this video or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.